Hey guys, my name is Megan and today I'm going to show you how to do a quick makeover on a builder's grade chandelier. The chandelier I'm going to be making over today is one that has been in my house since the house was built. It is a basic builder's grade chandelier, has a nickel finish. I want to match it to some pendants that I purchased at West Elm that I have over my kitchen island. And what I picked up at Home Depot was the Rust-Oleum Universal Paint and Primer in One. I got it in the color Oil Rubbed no, oil, oil rubbed bronze. Other things I use in this project include a Phillips head screwdriver, some newspaper, and... Okay, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our power off. Safety first, go down to your main panel and turn that breaker off that feeds into the area that you're working on. And this is the chandelier that I'm gonna be working on. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find that little ring right underneath the base of the light fixture and I'm going to unscrew it all the way until the whole thing drops down. Behind that you're going to see some wires and each all of the wires are going to have some caps on so you're going to unscrew the caps and remove those and then you're going to find the wires exposed and wrapped around each other. So you're going to want to unwind the wires from each other but it's very smart to make sure that you mark each one with some tape to remember where you started so that when you reconnect, it's not an issue. So I had a black wire and a white wire that I labeled, and then I had my ground wire, which was a copper wire, which I did not label since it was a copper wire and I would be able to remember that. Once you get everything labeled, you're going to go ahead and unscrew the light fixture from the ceiling. You're going to see a main metal portion with two screws in it, and you're going to unscrew those two screws. But make sure you have a really good grip on that chandelier so that you don't just drop it and shatter it into a million pieces. At this point, you should be able to completely remove everything and remove the chandelier from the ceiling. You're going to want to move it to your workspace. I chose a very well ventilated area, which I suggest. I'm working in my garage, I'm just laying down some newspaper so that I don't get spray paint all over the floor. I'm going to go ahead and remove all of my light bulbs and I'm also removing these little covers over the light sockets because I'm going to spray paint those as well. I did break a light bulb so I'm going to have to remove that from the light fixture with a pair of needle nose pliers but small bump in the road. After that I'm going to clean the chandelier because it is so dusty. Uh, I'm just using Windex. It's just going to remove the extra debris that's on there and it's, it's a perfectly good cleaner for a project like this. So now I'm at the point where I can actually start spray painting and the first thing you're going to want to do is remove this little tab which I clearly had a little trouble with but you just slide it up and this can is amazing because I, I mean most, most spray paint cans that I've used I always get paint all over my finger but this one has like this little spray nozzle like you would use on like a Windex bottle or, or any other cleaning bottle and it just sprays out and it does come out a little chunky at first I do a little test spray on the newspaper and then I start gliding over using slow and even strokes I went ahead and I let this dry for about an hour in between coats and I only did two coats I didn't want this to be too opaque I wanted to see some of that silver shining through on some parts I let my chandelier dry overnight before I hung it back up. I wanted to make sure it was completely dry before I handled it again. So now I'm at the point where I can reconnect my big metal piece to the ceiling. Go ahead and do that before you even think about connecting any wires. You want to make sure your chandelier is up there, it is connected. You just go ahead and screw those screws back in where they were before and make sure it is fastened all the way. Once your chandelier is, is fastened into the ceiling, you can go ahead and work on reconnecting those wires. And if you've labeled everything properly, then you should have no issues here. You'll wanna make sure that the wires are wrapped and twisted around each other at the very ends before you screw the caps back onto them. And then you can put the wires back up into the ceiling. When you fit all of your wires up into that little hole in the ceiling, you can slide your metal piece up so that it hugs the ceiling and your little ring up against that and screw that back on and everything should be just as it was when you found it. Don't forget to turn your power back on and voila, you have your new and upgraded chandelier.
Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of my future projects.